Hello everyone, we're excited to bring you this overview webinar on ETAP solutions for data centers and critical facilities. Data centers can be thought of as the brains of the internet. Their role is to process, store, and communicate the data behind the myriad information services we rely upon every day, whether it be streaming video, email, social media, online collaboration, or simply scientific computing. Data centers utilize different IT devices to provide these services, all of which are powered by electricity. The electricity used by these IT devices is ultimately converted into heat, which must be removed from the data center by cooling equipment that also runs on electricity. On average, the servers and cooling systems account for the greatest share of direct electricity use in data centers followed by storage drives and network devices. Some of the world's largest data centers can each contain many tens of thousands of IT devices and require more than 100 megawatts of power capacity. That is enough to power around 80,000 US households. So let's get started and learn about digital continuity in design and operations that ETAP offers for data centers and mission critical facilities get into design and operate and the concept of going from design to operate using the ETAP digital twin. When we're dealing with uh, consultants and end users who are designing the data center, the engineering teams who are responsible for analyzing, documenting and constructing the data center, and finally the maintenance and the operations teams that are responsible for operating and maintaining the data center, they are all working typically in silos. They all deal with different tools at different stages of the construction and design of the data center. And by moving from feasibility planning to schematics to the deliverables, sharing the same data across the entire life cycle of the electrical system has a positive impact versus siloed information that actually has a negative impact. The negative impact of having a non-unified life cycle results in errors and omissions as you're transferring data from one design phase to another. It requires rework, especially you have to re-enter the information again, and that results in lost time and of course increased cost, especially if there's a design change to be made during the construction phase where it requires you to go back to the drawing board, as we say, and redo some of the assessments again. So having a unified life cycle can mitigate and reduce this lost time and lower the cost in case there's any need to reiterate or rework any aspect of the electrical system lifecycle. The integrated model driven approach by ETAB allows this to happen where we combine the digital twin model with network model analysis, intelligent visualization, and then we later on combine from an operations perspective with real time operating data as well as historical data. Going from design to operation using a centralized digital twin allows us to essentially design the system with automation knowledge where we can conceptualize with accurate device characteristics such as PV, energy storage, wind, fuel cells and other capabilities. And that gives us a conservative saving of 5% by including these accurate device characteristics during the conceptualizing phase itself. We can analyze the system with renewables and microgrid controllers and further optimize the design. And this is done by right sizing the components based on the behavior of the microgrid controllers. We can then operate the system with design knowledge. So that helps us do a better job at commissioning the system. And we can validate what's going to happen when we energize certain components as we go through certain uh, switch plans and that helps us avoid costly disruptions. We can then continue on and automate with the design model characteristics for more optimal control, as well as a platform for operator training. And then if you add on optimization capabilities, such as acid condition monitoring and failure analysis, then we can also utilize ETAP to automate and manage optimal maintenance practices. So the ETAP digital twin, as it's applied across the entire life cycle, results in a conservative estimated savings of about 20%. ETAP completes your end-to-end -end journey by essentially allowing us to take this digital twin in the as-designed state, 
which majority of you may have used ETAP in this stage. You can then take ETAP, connect it to another ETAP, which is software in the loop, and you can have a as predicted design model. You can then take that model, combine it with some real-time data during the handover commissioning stage, and you can get an as-trained model. The as-trained model continues to get better and better as we get into full-scale operations, and that acts as a very effective operator training simulator. Finally, the real-time solutions allow us to take the digital twin in the as-operated state, and then we can use that to forecast, optimize, predict, recover, as well as investigate whenever there is any outage or issues in the system. So ETAB again lets you go from detail engineering to factory acceptance, handover commissioning, and into operations on the same platform. And all of this is possible along with the quality assurance that ETAP provides. ETAP essentially has a nuclear grade or high impact software that allows us to comply with 10 CFR 50 Appendix B and CFR Part 21 amongst other standards. And that applies to our interface, the technical content, libraries, installation, as well as uh, training. Thank you very much for joining us for this webinar. And we look forward to seeing you in our upcoming webinars and have a wonderful day or evening, wherever you may be.